Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So today we are dealing with a subject called as Television Engineering in the JNT UK BTEC CAR 16 regulation, 4th year, 1st semester of ECE stream. And today we are discussing in the chapter of chapter 6 of Television Engineering that is Emerging Standards and Technologies. And in that, today we describe about the topic called as Presentation. So the question in the topic of presentation is explain 1080 60 pixels p stands for pixels presentation and mention the techniques that supports 1080 and 60 pixels so in digital tv the audio and video presentation achieved high video resolution and refresh rates and the surround speaker has configurations of 6.1 and 7.1 generally in digital tv that means in today's world of tv the combination of the audio and video presented uh, a high rate that means it, it, it achieved a high rate rather than showing only video or audio in the sort of black and white tv and in the comparison with the older tvs in the in the nowadays tvs the audio and video presentation achieved high video resolutions right yes coming to the 180 and 60 pixels 1080 and 60 pixels resolution the grand alliance system alliance means a sort some sort of meeting and matching together so the grand alliance system intended the presentation format of 1080 60 hertz progressive video so among all the sorts of pixels required this grand alliance system recommended the format of 1080 and 60 hertz sort of uh, some that uh, nomenclature of pictures f to provide a progressive that means crystal clear video normally we know that in images also some uh, let us consider some movies in the in movies also we mostly prefer to the 1080 pixels which means we'll get a clear hd image in the same way but this became impossible in early 1990s due to the technology and cost restraints. See, nowadays 1080p and 720 pixels, some sort of movies are common nowadays with HD clarity. But in the years of 1990, it is very highly impossible due to the technology and cost restraints. Restraints means something which stop us to move forward in those days there is no such sort of technology and at the same time no one are uh, able to provide such great costs. Okay, to achieve this format, they proposed a high data rate transport stream mode at 38.78 Mbps. Not only to produce such 1080 and 60 pixels clarity picture, but we need to transport the stream to each and every television. So, for that purpose of transporting it, they set some standard of 38.78 megabytes per second speed. Elsewhere, the DTV manufacturers, that means digital TV manufacturers, were producing 1080.60 Hz progressive capable cells. So, everywhere they're producing uh, a, a highly required standard of uh, 1080 and 60 pixels progressive sets, which led to the requirement to enhance the infrastructure distribution. So, when they're providing a super clarity product, it the set which provides such quality of product also need to be enhanced. So, they, they need to develop their infrastructure to produce such clarity picture. In a one, 1080 and 60 pixels display, all the 1920 active horizontal pixels appeared on the display. See, this number changes according to the display. In this particular 1080 60 pixels display, there are 1920 active horizontal lines which appear on the display. We cannot see it with our naked eye, but our technology says that there are 1920 active horizontal pixels appear. The current BOC, which means Broadcast Operations Center technology, is not enough because SMPTE 292 uses single cable distribution and distribution topologies at 1.5 Zbps. So, but uh, this broadcast operation center technology is not enough to provide this sort of highly standard clear pictures. We are discussing SMPT in the last part of this video. 
okay whereas dual link methods are required to support 3 gbps here they are given an example of how does it look like for an 1080 pixels and at the same time 720 pictures a comparison is given this when compared to the 720 pixels and 1080 pixel grids here we are able to see <coughs> in the 720 pixel grid there are only four boxes that means uh, an entire picture is divided into four parts comparing to the 1080 pixel grid here there are it is divided into nine parts which means when we divided a complete task into smaller number of tasks we can clearly provide a picture with the utmost clarity compared to this right so this is the structure of a uh, seven 720 and 1080 pixel grids comparison so from the figure we can observe that three boxes in 1080 pixels are equal to the two boxes in horizontal and vertical directions same see we can clearly see that three boxes here are comparatively equal to the two boxes of 720 pixels when compared to the 1080 pixels which means 1080 pixels has high resolution compared to the 720 pixels as I said before. The size of the black and white boxes results in the difference in resolution. Yeah, here comes the concept of SMPTE. The SMPTE stands for Society of Motion Pictures and Television Engineers. This, it is a consortium that means a group of people who sets the standards for the television engineering. So, see here 1080 pixels can be provided with high speed infrastructure distribution standards. Same as I said before, they need some extra standards and extra infrastructure to provide such quality pictures. So, the, uh, it sets this SMPT sets rules for providing such pictures. They accepted SMPT 424 and SMPT 425. These are names of the standards at 3 Gbps speed serial digital interface protocols. They set some protocol rules. So the SMPT 424M as a 3 Gbps signal data serial interface which describes the bit serial transport structure for 3 Gbps component digital signals. That means to provide a clear picture of 1080 pixels, the entire information need to be transferred bitwise. It need, bit by bit, the entire information need to be transferred here at the speed of 3 GB per second. Then only we can see a clarity picture. And how can we set that bit by bit picture? It We can set that bit by bit picture in the form of packetized. We know that data is sent everywhere in the form of packets over coaxial cables. The SMPT 425M is a formally known as 3GPS data serial interface source image form mapping. You should uh, know this. Uh, name because when we this, these are similar words when we set SMPT 425M we need to automatically remember that it is formally known as a 3 GBPS which explains about its speed it is a data serial interface what is it is transmitting the data serial information and source image form mapping it describes the transmission of embedded audio ancillary data ancillary means supports the data stream it, it describes an audio supported data in a 3 gbps speed digital interface and mapping of different sources image not only audio it also enhances with video also so broadcast infrastructure can exploit the hd sti distribution the high definition uh, may be dis uh, may be destroyed it can be exploited with this uh, unnecessary forms of broadcasting infrastructure of graphic cards as the support dual link distribution so to avoid this problem we can use graphic cards because it support dual link distribution for 180 1080 pixels through a dual link 3gps channel so in this video we totally described about two clear points what is the speed it should maintain to provide a clarity picture is 3 gbps speed and uh, compared to the 720 pixels 1080 pixels provide a clear picture and here we also explained about what is smpte at the same time the comparison between the picture grids i mean structure of picture grids of 720 pixels and 1080 pictures uh, thank you and we'll be back with my next video